part two. In this part, we're going to talk about the problem that our species collectively faces. George Orwell said that if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. And that may be exactly what uh, I'll be getting into in this section. Things that are uncomfortable for us to hear. Philosopher Vernon Howard said that human sickness is so severe that few can bear to look at it, but those who do will become well. Soren Kierkegaard said, there are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true. The other is to refuse to accept what is true. And it all really boils down to that right there. We suffer because we either believe in concepts and ideologies that simply aren't true and do not serve us, or we refuse to believe in that which is true. And therefore, we suffer. Those are the two main reasons why all people suffer. The questions for this entire section of part two are the following. What is the nature of this problem that we collectively face? Who or what is creating this problem? How is this problem manifested in the world? Is there an underlying agenda? And if so, what is it? So we'll be taking these in order and I'll be spending the majority of the time in this section talking about how the problem is manifested, the actual methodologies that are used against us, and um, <clears throat> talk about what the problem is first. So this is, in one sentence, the main problem that humanity collectively faces. A small cabal of evil sorcerers control our whole planet by manipulating the consciousness of its people into a vibration of fear. We talked about what sorcery and magic were in part one. Sorcerers use illusion and manipulation against people to try to create opposition within the self and opposition in the world and chaos. So. There's a group of these people who understand how consciousness works and they're using that knowledge against the bulk of humanity to control their consciousness by controlling the mind and they're manipulating their consciousness into a vibrational energy of fear. With that, only chaos and evil can be created outwardly into the world. So that's the, the root problem that we all face. That's what's actually occurring here. And that's what we're falling victim to. Many have seen this uh, image, the pyramid of manipulation, the uh, hierarchical and compartmentalized structure through which those in the know, those who have the knowledge of how human consciousness works and are using it as a weapon against the masses, how they run this top-down pyramid scheme. Up here you see the top of the pyramid, the pinnacle, the summit, where the knowledge is at. Those in the know, those with the knowledge, those who are illuminated into this uh, knowledge of consciousness uh, are at, can be seen at being at the summit or at the top of a pyramid. And then all different aspects of society are controlled from the top down to a hierarchical, regimented, compartmentalized system. Those who are down here have very little knowledge of how things really work and how they're really structured. They just go along to get along. They do their job. They don't really uh, consider the wider implications of what they're involved in or what they do. And yet, they're being used as pawns in a game, in a manipulation game, to actually create more and more compartmentalized and centralized control of, of everything and everyone. And uh, you can look at this as simply a structure of knowledge. Knowledge is, is uh, concentrated at higher and higher levels as you get closer to the top of this pyramid, and there is very little knowledge about how things really work down here. These are just 
uh, puppets whose strings are being pulled to accomplish the goals and the agenda of those at uh, higher levels of knowledge.